Hey guys, it's Rachel, and today we will be doing a Bay Area Ube food tour. So I will be bringing you along as I try out some really delicious places to get Ube treats located here in the Bay. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Let's kick things off with our first spot called Do Wei Mi in Union City. And yes, there is a huge line. I don't know if y'all can see this, but it extends real far. If you come on the weekends, definitely come early because they sell out of their popular mochi donuts as well as malasadas. By the time we arrived to the front, a couple of the mochi donut flavors were already gone, but luckily enough, they had all of the malasada flavors. So you know, we had to order one of everything. And so they don't offer any indoor seating at the cafe, so we took it to a nearby park to enjoy. We bought a total of seven donuts. You only see six here because these are the six malasada donuts that they packaged together. But each malasada donut was so light and fluffy and filled with so much cream in the middle, it was so dang good. And yes, my Asian parents who don't love sweet things said that these were actually really good and definitely not too sweet. Of course, we have to highlight the ube coconut donut that they offer, and this is a continual item on their menu. They do have a lot of rotating flavors but the ube one I noticed is always there. It definitely had a strong ube flavor and light and fluffy donut to go with it but I think my favorite was the passion fruit. Honestly whichever donut you end up with here from Do Wei Mi it's bound to be delicious. Hopping on over to our next location, we are going down south to Los Gatos to visit Lily Cake. This quaint little cafe serves up a variety of pastries, brunch items, as well as lattes, and we are here specifically for the ube latte. I have to say, this is one of the best latte arts I've ever seen, and major props to anyone who can do latte art because it's so hard. But definitely come here for a creamy ube latte, which feels kind of like a hot milk with ube flavoring. Alrighty, up next is Hula Hoops based in South San Francisco. Well, hey guys, we are here at Hula Hoops in South San Francisco. It is super sunny and super windy, but we are here for a Hawaiian brunch. They have loco moco, I think spam fries, and a bunch of like ube flavored things. So we are super excited to dig in and give it a try. So let's go. It took us about 45 minutes to get a table of four on the weekend, so definitely be prepared to wait. Once you're inside, you'll notice that there's a really great vibe and decor that's all very like island tiki themed. The owner actually noticed that we were admiring this cool secret room, and so she invited us to go dine in there. We kicked off the meal with the spam fries, which is basically slices of spam sticks breaded and fried and dipped in sauce. The owner was actually so nice and she gave us some tips on how to actually eat these spam fries and she suggested we dip it in each sauce before devouring it. <laughs> All right, on to our entrees and the main dishes of the meal. We dug into the Lily Koi pancakes right away because the whipped cream started melting into the hot cakes. They were super delicious and fluffy. I was expecting the pancakes to actually be yellow because of the Lily Koi, but they were actually pink. Now let's move on to the iconic ube waffle. We ordered ours with the fried chicken and egg, which was an additional $6. Honestly, this was so good. The texture of the mochi waffle was chewy, the chicken was perfect, and the ube sauce was very coconutty, which I love. You can't have Hawaiian brunch without loco moco, so of course we ordered up a loco moco combo and we got kalua pig as well as beef. There was something so delicious about their gravy and it paired perfectly with the rice, mac salad, and meat. The owner also put orchid flowers on all of our dishes and I thought that was so sweet. She said it wasn't normal, but she saw my camera and wanted to do a little something. All right, so now we're heading back to the East Bay over to Livermore to try out Denica's Real Food Kitchen, known for their ube pancakes. I don't know why, but this place just reminds me of a really homey diner that serves up classic breakfast foods. And their ube pancakes did not disappoint. They were layered in sauce and cream and also topped with berries. Each order of pancakes comes with a stack of four layers that are light and fluffy and packed with ube flavor. Okay, so it may look like we're wandering into nowhere here, but actually this is a hidden coffee shop nestled in a bunch of office buildings in Santa Clara called One Ounce Coffee. Once you wander in and kind of get your bearings, you'll notice that it has a beautiful outdoor patio space and they also serve up a great variety of drinks. I ordered up there, well, you guessed it, ube latte. This latte was a little bit lighter than the one at Lily Cakes and I feel like it kind of just was like a nice warm steamed milk with a touch of yam or sweet potato flavoring. And that is a wrap on our Ube food tour. Definitely let me know if I missed any spots in the comments down below, and I'll see you next week with an all new one. Bye guys.